With search aliases, you can create a quick way to search variations of a name. Many names appear in the data in different ways, including different email addresses. Setting up a search alias allows users to use a shortcut to populate all the values into their search. You can also create groups of aliases. For example, you can enter an alias for each attorney at a law firm and then create a group for the firm. Take it one step further and combine all attorneys into a large attorney group. By setting up aliases, you are creating shortcuts, which will save you and other users a lot of time when creating search queries. We'll start by creating the search aliases and then put the aliases into a group. In order to use this module, you need permissions to Use Admin Search Aliases and Use Admin. Aliases are security group specific, so take care to build the right ones for the right group. Change the security group if necessary. Here you see existing aliases. Click Add Search Alias to create a new alias. We will look for a particular name key to this case. Now, we'll find the values to include for this alias. Selecting the Add Names button at the bottom, I'm going to use the lookup. You can use the Begins or Fuzzy radio buttons to find the name. We recommend Fuzzy so that you catch all the names that appear anywhere in the value. I could choose values individually, or I can click Add All to Write. If I change my mind about a value, I can just remove it. Now click Add to apply the values to the search alias. I can go back and look for more names or add them through the other tabs. Now that I have my search alias set up, I can add this alias to a group by clicking the Edit Groups button. If the appropriate group is not available, enter a new group and select Add Group. Your new group will appear in the list and will automatically be selected. As you can see, you can add the alias to more than one group. Now let's take a look at using a search alias. Click Multi-Value and under the Alias Names tab, find the alias. Select it and click Add. See the expansion in the box. Now let's do the same thing and use a group this time. The group expands in the search box and I can edit names as I see fit within the box.